Good afternoon, Internet. I thought I would do one on the weekday for once. Um, I'm actually feeling like absolute crap right now, which is the reason why I wanted to play video games. Did I actually remember to buy potions? Thank you, game. Uh, this always happens when I sleep my computer in between. Um... Uh, yes. Yes, I did remember to buy potions. Good! So, last time we attempted to reach Barbaros and failed miserably. On the plus side, I have Domino leveled up slightly more. Keyword being slight. Very slight. Very, very slight. But, you know, it's always fun. Um, I wish I... I'm kind of tempted to try to just fast forward through the trip to Barbaros, but I, if you haven't noticed, I don't actually fast forward through going to a new place. We will actually go back to Barbaros, and I'll have to go through this entire path again. At that point, I will fast forward. But that and fast forwarding, it doesn't seem like it, but takes quite a bit longer for me to record the video that way. Um, mostly because I have to re-render everything, and... Basically, the length of the video is how long extra I have to render, even if I don't have to do anything. Which stinks. Oh, okay. No, you are going to fire three. I love how the barbarian, barbarian, uh, I need to get my fingers in the shot. Huh? Wow, I don't really have a bunch of space the way I have this set up, do I? Barbarian kingdom is named Barbaros. Very creative naming here, Camelot. Good job. I love how you also never actually get to hear the full background music of this game. Yeah. You get to hear full fight music, though. That's always good. I don't like you. Yeah, they're still alive by the end of round. Might as well waste the magic. Make it speed up. Oh, hey, look, Succubus. Oh, hey, look, heal. Oh, hey, look, more healing. And Domino's groggy. Ah, time to use our trusty Ocarina. Oh, hey, look, it broke already. I need to get quicker on that uptake. I know there's a way of, for me to hotkey it, it's just that I don't... I don't really use the keyboard, so I should probably actually show you my setup at some point. Might as well do that while this battle's going on. So, I have my controller right here, plus keyboard. And yes, this is a solar-powered keyboard, it's pretty awesome. Alright, let me turn it to the side. You can see it slightly... Ah! Mostly better there. So I have my keyboard that's kind of in front of me while I sit here and sit the weird way that I do. Huh. Is that right? Nope. Cutting off my head. There we go. Man, close enough. Um, as a result, I don't really like reaching up for the keyboard very often. I don't know why. I just don't. You know what? You're gonna holy light because you're gonna spend more MP actually healing here. 
I didn't heal everybody back up because Annie's still heavily injured. Whoops. Oh well. And a fire drake for cleanup. Not that it was needed. So. So many encounters. Succubi go first. Kind of reminds me of a, um... D&D thing that I end up pulling off with one of my characters. Succubombs. Namely, I had summoned a succubus. So, uh, backtrack. My primary D&D character that I play right now is a wizard. Um, specifically a wizard lore master, if you're familiar with the 3.5 edition or Pathfinder uh, thingy, um, prestige class. Lore masters really just even more bookish than normal wizards. Close enough. Um... So, basic gist of it is, is that I'm playing one of the few non-good aligned characters in the group. The other one being the second person that part- ah, crap. The second person that partaked in the Team Sucky Bomb. So, my bright idea for handling a particular situation was to have a succubus, who is in fact immune to fire, summon a succubus, have the succubus carry a bunch of delayed blast fireballs. So delayed blast fireball is a little marble that you have that after a certain number of rounds will explode into a fireball. I summoned the succubus because, you know, I'm the team summoner apparently. Summoned the succubus and the succubus just held a bunch of marbles to that would explode, which was fine with the succubus because succubi are immune to fire. Hmm, dark elf. I don't like you either. Ah, oh, McQuidka's very injured. I'm going to die. Yep. So anytime I see Succubi, I just immediately think Sucky Bombs. And that is probably the most extreme point I can go. Bum 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 Ah! Oh, we ambushed them. Good. Hunt three. And hunt time. That should be enough to take care of everybody. Quake get leveled up! Hooray! Domino leveled up! Yay! Yes, lots of walking to get to Barbaros. Very remote kingdom. Venom giant. I bet they're like the other giants, but with poison! Very creative. I forgot to heal again. Crap. I'm actually going to heal raining combat because I'm done dealing with you. us all so many battles <sighs> oh, I... I'm really low on MP which sucks now ow, ow.
Beyond the Beyond. If you ever have a fear of using items in combat, you should not play this game. Or using one-use items at all, I should say. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, look, Domino's groggy again. Who would have ever guessed? All I need him to do is to survive, damn it. I'm pretty sure I'm within sight of the place. So close. <sighs> ah, that, that's a lot of enemies. Ah, uh, uh, Domino's gonna die, isn't he? Holy light! Now, of course they're in three different groups, because that makes sense. Uh, I... Under them... What can I get away with for four? Not really much of anything. Silence spell. Sure, we'll try that. In fact, actually, then I'm going to thunder the summoners and try to silence things. You remember how well that worked last time, right? Wind, taunt, throw the most powerful thing you have at him. Ah, oh, that worked. Gave me a lot of XP. Quite uh, heal Domino. I totally didn't heal Domino, did I? Go me. Miquetka, use your last bit of MP on healing Domino. There it is. I made it! So, I've actually... I don't believe I've ever been to this town this early. No joke. Hmm. Barbaros, apparently they think the monsters are brave for wandering nearby the town. Yep, nothing guards can't handle. I mean, you know how well guards work in this game. Everybody, however, is a hardened hero of battle. So this is basically a hidden-ish town. Oh, it's somebody with a portrait. So this is actually a mistake-ish in the game. I say ish because it was intentional, but basically um, there was only room for six characters in a name. And in Japanese that wasn't that big of a deal, but in English you end up with Lorelei instead of Lorelei, which is actually the name of the character. Uh, it's supposed to be Princess Lorelei. Yes, apparently Lorelei can do backflips over people. Kapow! Yeah! She looks tough. He's out cold! Even though you are a princess. Hint, this is establishing how tough Princess Lorelai is. Obviously far better than Samson. Oh, that's enough for today. Oh, just make sure nobody's hurt. You know, don't worry about it. I'm going away. You, you have a dragon as a pet. I'm pretty sure I would have remembered these lines. Oh, pet, I'm McWedka's friend. No. Dots. I'm sorry. Goodbye, cute little dragon. See, this is, in fact, this means that I actually have seen this. She understands my words, so... This implies that most people can't actually understand Steiner. How? That this... Uh, but... But... Everybody else has been speaking to Steiner in this game. Everyone else... 
This has got to be Barbaros. You know, the fact that the guard said that it was Barbaros before we entered. Yep. Obviously, this is Barbaros. Apparently, she was holding back on her them. Um, you should be happy, because that means that the person that you trained is really good at their job. Seriously, the sexism! What the hell? Come on! I mean, everybody knows my best character in the party is Annie, so... You mean especially Princess Lorelei. Get it right. Dun dun dun! I am finally getting famous! Seriously? Apparently, the idea that... Oh! Bandor sometimes fights with more than five people in a party! Ha! They don't know the first thing about military tactics! You only attack with five people! What are you talking about? Oi! Okay, they do not appear to have, um, whatchamacallit, mage potions here. Good to know. Well, at least I can buy better rods. Kind of surprised. Uh, stun rod instead of shield rod? Yeah, I'll do it. I, it drops my defense slightly, but it's fine. I should probably speed it up while I do this. Hey look, it's a better weapon for Domino! Yay! Can't equip, can't equip, can't equip. You don't want to equip things, that would be silly. However, I can apparently buy a sailor's bandana. As opposed to a regular bandana. That was on a sailor. Oy. Game, there's something wrong with you. Okay, there's a lot of things wrong with you. Okay, looks like I have everything else. And let's not forget to repair my lovely Ocarina of Awesome. I know, this makes it a very inefficient healing item when it breaks after one use. But it's not supposed to break after one use. And eventually it becomes a much more efficient healing item. 300 gold per night. I believe this is the second most expensive inn in the game. Quamdar, I think, might be the only one more expensive. And I want to say that's either 500 or 1,000 or 1,500. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what Boo's trying to eat. One moment. Boo? Don't eat that, please. Boo's trying to eat a paper towel. As usual. So... We are investigating Barbaros. Really, we just want to talk to everybody here? And Barbaros Castle is a little weird to navigate. There is a reason why it's weird to navigate, and I won't say it because it kind of spoils things, but let's just say that they have their reasons. Yeah, now that I've... Hate. Why do you change the defaults on things halfway through? Because you know, people are gonna save more than six times in a game. Seriously. Okay. Uh, let's talk to you. Okay. What's wrong with that? Right, sexist society again. <sighs> Seriously? Uh, come on! This was... Uh, I know, I know. I'm supposed to be a little bit more... Anyone want to fight? I'm bored! No, it's a chamber pot! Yes, because, you know, guards in a prison just want to fight. And, as I was saying, um, this is supposed to be a game that's, you know, a hallmark of its time and stuff. Well, obviously not that big of a hallmark, but it's supposed to be that they didn't exactly have more 
educated viewpoints upon man men and women at the time. Yeah, no, um, seriously? 90s. We're, we're not talking about the 1820s or anything. Men have to be strong! Yeah, good for you. No one would dare attack Barbaros! Ha! Huh. Are so brave, hee hee, and so strong. Then to scroll. Yeah, there's a bunch of hidden stuff in here later on. I don't think I can get at most of. At least I can't get at any of the useful hidden stuff. You didn't come here to fight, did you? Ah ha ha! Just kidding. Someone's coming here to fight us? How absurd! Nobody would fight Barbaros! They really try to lay this on thick, don't they? Now, try to remember how in the world I'm supposed to actually get into the main area. Oh, right, I'm supposed to just walk into the front door. Erp derp! Don't mind me, I'm awesome! Yay! Apparently, the king wants Princess Lorelei to marry a great warrior. I think this is supposed to insinuate that she's supposed to marry Samson. I don't know. The ancient tablet behind the king's throne? Yes, actually, I do. Ah, the king apparently just wanted it as wall decoration. Yep, that's what that thing sitting right behind here is. The ancient tablet is on the wall. I don't get why you would hate such a thing in an easy to reach spot. Ooh, another portrait! He looks impressive. He also looks a lot like the. somebody else. Emperor Bandor, maybe? Yes, it must be important. See, this is where you're supposed to actually get the quest to go to the Isle of Discipline, but it's pretty obvious that's where you're supposed to go. I mean, seriously? They kind of tell you everywhere. And in order to progress plot, you actually have to promote McWedka. You don't have to promote anybody else, mind you, just McWedka. Strong women. Obviously, this is... Oh, hey, look, it's Princess Lorelai's panties. Seriously, I'm going on a panty raid now? What hell's wrong with you, game? Raising a kind daughter. Aww. Big underwear inside. Looks like the king. Apparently the king is very well hung. I don't know why they need to insinuate this. I, I've i got nothing for most of this. Seriously. I've given up long ago in trying to figure out what in the world this game's trying to say. Ah, get back here. Ah, dead. There we go. Yeah, you see, the main thing when it comes to battleships is that they're ranged. And, well, that means you fight at a range. A standing army is not going to help when you're fighting at a range, unless you had, like, cannons or something. Which, Bandor appears to be the only nation that has firearms in this world. I, I don't get it. Anyway, that's everything in Bandor. That's it. That's all you can do right now. I... I got nothing. Uh, let's see. Can I even do anything else before Discipline Town? So I was kind of hoping to... No, actually I can't. Oi, this is going to suck. Uh, do, 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 nope can't even do that. So yeah, I actually have to promote. Which, yeah, um, Domino is still level 19. I guess I'll be promoting everybody else first. Well, that stinks, but oh well. Not much I can do about it. Let's go back to leave. Time to get our discipline on. Yeah, that's right. Apparently there is a mistress in the town. She wants to pump you up. I don't. I, that's not discipline that I'm trying to get at. Maybe she's into whips and trains. Maybe he's into whips and chains. 
Uh, actually, I haven't fought, so there's no reason to waste that money. I just want to pick up a mage potion. I don't even need the mage potion. Let's just go to Discipline Town. Maybe they will tame my unruly ways. I think the fun part. I actually don't remember where we're disappointed. I got into a random battle while I was getting on my boat. Okay, beyond the beyond, you're getting a little ridiculous on your random battles. Um, I'm actually not sure where Discipline Town is, so I'm briefly glancing at the walkthrough to see... Um, oh, it actually recommends leaving from Port Luna. Um, I'm actually not going to leave from Port Luna. Due west of Portland. Okay. I'm actually going to sail around specifically so I have the ability to not have my gamepad do anything. That's weird. There we go. Um, specifically so I level up slightly more. Maybe by then Domino will have leveled up a little bit. Speed up doesn't work very well when I'm trying to target somebody else. Lots of wind going on! Yay wind! Actually... Co, why don't you do a normal healed domino? Let's see, where is this anyway? Watch I arrive at some horrible, terrible place. Well, it's probably not Port Luna. Yes, Annie! Kill them. Is Annie actually stronger than McQuedka right now? She does about the same amount of damage on a critical. Huh. I need to check that. Because I haven't checked stats recently, and that might be a problem. Status. Yeah, she's only four attack off of McQuedka. That's bizarre. Ha. Huh. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's just weird. And Domino is still too low of a level for it to be much of a comparison. I mean, he's six levels lower and 11 attack off. That's actually not that bad. It's 18 strength off, though. That means he would need 3 strength per level, which is not that abnormal for him. Oh, this is actually Discipline Island. Go up! I guess I accidentally went to the right spot. I'll just stay here. I love it when I accidentally go to the right spot. Are you sure you're ready? Have you said yes, mistress, many, many times? Two fifty gold per night. Apparently, the folks of Discipline Island have a little bit more lax laws when it comes to inns. I mean, they charge half as much as um. Barbaros. And Barbaros is at least 80 times as difficult to reach. 
Well, most give up and go home. How to find the new me? Um, well... Healing potion. Well, that could be useful. How to find the new you? Well... Even I failed! Yeah, but you seen? My group of five warriors defeated an empire that was made up of a single town. But still, it was an empire, I swear. Oh. Ooh, I actually have better equipment from Requedka. Which I'm going to need, because for this section, you actually have to solo the section. That's right, this is basically a solo quest. Just double checking, yeah, no. Everything else is post promote. Um, you actually have to do a solo quest for this entire area, if I remember correctly. Uh, I remember people using... Oh, I can't remember this very well anymore. It's been so long. Chaos Shield, eh? That probably is cursed. See how much money it's worth. Because that's the easiest way to tell if something's cursed. Nope, not cursed. Just post promote. Cursed items are worth crap tons of money. Usually about 7,500 if I remember correctly. I mean, you must be confident your ability to come all the way to Discipline Island, right? Or just the Discipline. Yes, if you want to come to Discipline. Um, this is really creepy. Kadar from Barbaros! Ah, apparently he wants to marry Princess Lorelei. Wow, what a stud! Oh, blush! I wonder if she herself has actually completed. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, we definitely need to save here, because there's actually a decently high chance I might die here. Let's go ahead and save here. I will save over a new slot after promotion. So I should be level 25 at this point. That's a, right about the level that I was expecting to be. But uh, Domino's going to stay unpromoted for quite some time, most likely. No reason not to. He could stay in the back for a while. Yes, Boo Kitty? Boo Kitty's the one that's loose right now. Yep, you can come on up, Boo. See? Boo Kitty. She smells like litter box. Oh. 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 I swear there should be a treasure chest there. I, just the silly music. Wait, wait, wait. I need to go back out. Take a look at the design. Now... Keep in mind, Arun is supposed to be the god of light, basically. Um, take a look at what that design looks like. This is something that I only noticed the last time I played through the game. It looks like Arun is bequeathing light to a warrior. But behind him is this giant hook, hammer, mallet, weird weapon thing. And then there's offerings with women and offering random items, apparently. And a baby. Can't forget the baby. But alternately, the way you could look at it is off to the left of Arun. You notice what's flying up there? That's the doorbell ringing, apparently. One moment.
apparently somebody going up to my door and selling stuff. That happens quite a bit in this neighborhood. Kind of annoying, but it's because there's a lot of kids in the neighborhood and bands and things like that want to fund things. Anyway, what I was pointing out is the fact that immediately to the left of Aron is a baby dragon. Kind of looks a lot like Steiner, as a matter of fact. So, it's the slight hint as to what might be going on. Right. Yep. Tend to call of nature, right. Let's go elsewhere and take a look at everything in here first. Blizzard Scroll! Yeah, this is actually a great place to use up Priestly Awareness. Use up um, one use, or, yeah, one use items, the offensive ones. Mostly because, well, and mostly if disappointed. So many things could be said about, you know, most people leaving disappointed from Discipline Island. Yeah. Oh yeah, hey look, beds on the Shrine of Discipline Island. It looks like a double. Hmm. Anyway, I think this was actually the game's attempt at making things... Um, actually trying to throw hidden knowledge in the game, which I appreciate quite a bit. This is was probably a decently well done section. If I'd have to make a guess, they probably worked on this section of the game first. Uh, this section and um, Isla. Those are the two cities that seem to be the most well thought out. Maybe Marion as well. Most games, if you notice when you play... Um, normally when you play games, you'll notice that the beginning parts of the game are much more well thought out than the end parts of the game. Sometimes you'll find random spots in the middle that are very detailed and things like that, but usually all of the details either in the beginning or the very end. And the reason being is that they cut things for time. I mean, there's a priority list thing going on, and this game is a huge, huge problem with the priority list. I think it would have been a substantially better game if they would have actually finished the stupid thing. Bigwedka is the great light! Bigwedka is our leader! You know, thinking about this, I probably should have, you know... I probably should have, um, whatchamacallit, shifted items where I didn't have a bunch of Aegis potions on Bigwedka. He's not the most efficient person in the world. But you notice who doesn't... Oh, there we go. Now I can shift back. Good. Notice that Steiner stays out. This is the first time in the game that Mikwedka and Steiner are separated from each other, and that is important, believe it or not. I'm going to transfer as many things as possible to Mikwedka. Get rid of some of the mage potions, because they're not especially useful. I mean, some are useful. Mikwedka does have magic, after all. It's just pretty much everything else is more useful. Uh, Ocarina is probably extremely useful, because it's theoretically multi-use. Except with my luck, it only ends up being one use ever. Um, another healing potion. Uh, do I want a unicorn orb with... or a unicorn orb? Unicorn horn with me? I don't think that's necessary, to be honest. I don't think there's anything in here that uses status effects. And that's probably good. So yeah, like I said, Steiner is actually not with you, which means that they had to develop a, if I remember right, your battle sprite actually doesn't have Steiner with you in here, which is weird. So that means they had to develop two different battle sprites for, the, for Mikwetka. Let's see if my theory was right. And yep, no Steiner flying around. And yes, I will be going through these battles slow, mostly because I pretty much have to do this constantly. It's the only way you actually get through this. This is also great experience for McWedka because he gets 100% of everything. Okay, I'm trying to remember how this dungeon works. 
been a really long time since I've been through here. The enemies in here are also a little bit easier than normal, mostly because they're expecting the Quake to be by themselves. Yes! McWedka can do a standard critical hit like everybody else, by the way. It's just that Steiner is with him, so it changes the appearance of it. There we go. Red. And green. And I can back out of here at any time. Well, that stinks. I'm also much more likely to be ambushed in here, if I remember right. Oh, I should have given Mikwedka the ring of fence, shouldn't I? Oh well, a bit late now. Hopefully I'll be fine. Hmm. This probably would have been a different, decent spot to stop. So I will. Um, I will go ahead and stop this recording for now, and I'll record a second one immediately. That way it's in two parts. Be back!